This short screencast is going to show you how to enter your marks for MYP classes into ManageBack uh, because that's how we're going to be producing our interim reports uh, for years 7 to 10 in the MYP. So you come into, when you first log into ManageBack, you'll get a window that may look something like this um, and you want to go to your class that you want to mark the work for. So I've set up some uh, pretend classes uh, which only have one student in it so your classes will have more students in it because you would have populated that. If I click on classes I can scroll down to my class I want to pick so I want to grab my MYP class and it will come up like this and it shows me uh, the overview of what's going on and when they were due and those kind of things. I can, it shows me the units of work I've done and the tasks, messages and the calendar for that class as well. So if I click on task there it's going to take me to a window that looks like that which tells me when they're all due um, and who set them. So Tony and I are team teaching this class so that's why we both appear here. On the right hand side there is a, a tab for gradebook so it's underneath the agenda tab there so if I click on gradebook what it's going to do is it's going to take me to my gradebook and show me the, the marks for all, all the tasks that I've done. You'll see at the moment that in here I've got um, some marks against this one, uh, no marks in here, some marks here and no marks in here. You'll notice that I've got an A and a B here which means this task only address criteria A and criteria B and same with here criteria and crime B. So let's go to this one here and let's mark this one um, and see what we can do with that. So when I click on that the little tab comes down here so it shows me that this is the task that I'm looking at and you'll notice that there are no marks. This task here uh, assess criteria A, C and D so I've now marked it and I just put in the, the results that I've got against those criteria. So that's the marks I've got for that one so that's done and let's come across to my uh, the one over here that had no marks in it as well which is that last task. If I click on that one it will take me to that. Once again there's no marks in there so I can put a 3 and a 7 and that's really cool so that's the marks I got and you'll notice down the bottom here it updates this as we go. So that's pretty cool. So that now means I have got my marks in for uh, my MYP. And so you'd go through every student in your class to add those marks. So what I normally do, uh, what, what I have done, sorry, not what I normally do, what I have done is I've just marked it normally like on paper and then entered my marks in here as a mark book.